Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's explore a few curved tube brushes. So if you get into this uh, brushes, we have a uh, curve multi tube, then we have a uh, curve tube and curve tube snap options or brushes. So to start with, I would like to go with the curve tube first. So I'll just switch off the symmetry uh, and scale the brush size to the smaller. So I just click and drag over this and then you should be able to see you are getting a brush on the model. Uh, this brush is not really snapping to the surface and uh, let's say if you want to control the size of the brush you can always uh, scale this brush like that i mean uh, the brush uh, will be of two types here so one is your normal curved tube brush and you have a brush which controls the curve itself so when i'm scaling this brush and then click on the curve the brush size becomes bigger and if i reduce this the brush size becomes smaller like that if you just go closer to the curve you could see a red line snapping to that end so once you get that if you click and drag you get a continuation curve there and you can control the i mean uh, draw the shape further more and uh, these two points are basically uh, start and end points let's say if i'm clicking and dragging uh, this uh, uh, the start and end points are sort of free but if you uh, go to the stroke menu which i've brought here and if you just open up there are two options like lock start and the lock end so if i generally enable that and then click and drag that's locked i can i cannot really move that point at all uh, for the lock end uh, you have uh, this point locked completely uh, you also have uh, this option here called elastic so i can click and you know drag it and then you should be able to see the the curve is expanding here you can hold this point and then you can scale it down when you are actually using this tool okay uh, the elastic button you can scale it down like that as you just move uh, inside uh, the stroke there so it's a bit sensitive i mean sometimes uh, it doesn't uh, scale down but it folds there so uh, i can generally move it inside like that uh, so we have uh, elastic button which uh, when i move that you should able to see the line is pretty much straight you you need to see this point here so you should able to see that's pretty straight uh, it's not taking any curve shape uh, in this mode but i'm stretching the curve as i'm moving it you could see that's releasing the curve like that uh, let me show it again it, it starts releasing those points like that uh, you have uh, the liquid option which generally uh, allows me to draw the expansion i mean it keeps stretching but uh, unlike your elastic it does not uh, make a straight one it, it generally takes the cur curve shape as you keep expanding uh, which is not really happening up here like that you should be able to see that so let me just hit the liquid and try it you should be able to see it's taking that nice curve shape there so that's a major difference here between these two things and uh, if i generally put uh, this bend feature on the total curve will move as one uh, object when i put it on uh, it generally uh, bends and then it sort of deforms the uh, shape there okay uh, you also have this uh, let me just move it uh, like that now if you enable the snap option and then click and move it uh, you should be able to see uh, the the curve is taking the shape of uh, the surface there okay uh, and if i don't uh, use that option here and uh, you should be able to see it's it's behaving this way so these are uh, a few options you can control and uh, i'll just uh, go to the curve mod curve functions and delete this curve and the curve gets deleted so i need to undo it few steps to take it back uh, now uh, let's say if i have to draw a straight line then go to the curve and then choose the straight line it gives a straight line curve and uh, as i told i can move it then you can enable bend and snap which can generally uh, you know sorry i switch off the bend and then snap it then it takes the shape of the curve there so it's pretty much uh, good uh, so you have uh, this curve modifiers uh, there are a few options especially the edit radius and uh, the focal shift if you generally see it's this blue circle when i'm moving it up let me um, enable the bend option there now when i'm moving this the curve is getting modified within that blue color range uh, if i increase this radius the blue color brush becomes bigger and uh, you get a bigger uh, area getting controlled uh, um, within this uh, drag uh, you have focal shift which is basically uh, making it more uh, i mean let's say it, it it makes a sharp curvature and here it makes a round curvature so it's it's how you can generally do this uh, options here um let's say if i enable this option called size and uh, 
and if i start drawing this curve uh, let me just uh, switch off the line and then when i click and drag it it ends up giving me a tapered curve you can go to the curve modifier and then flip horizontal which will give uh, the starting point of the curve thick and the end point like that however you can modify the fall off and get a different uh, thickness altogether so this is uh, the curve cube for you and if i switch off it, it gives you the plane cube there now one thing you should notice when i'm just clicking and dragging uh, the previous curve is getting masked and when i do that the new one the older one is masked here and uh, let's say if i start controlling the brush size the brush size is only affecting to the unmasked brush the other tubes are not at all in your control so let me just uh, try the multi tube option here so i'll take the z sphere again then try uh, this curve multi tube brush so i'm going to select uh, switch off the symmetry and uh, draw the tube so that tube is achieved okay now i'm going to drag the second one the second tube is achieved now in the normal tube method you should have noticed that my previous tube was getting masked so uh, let's say if i'm um, scaling my brush okay and then clicking on any of the curve all the curves are getting affected that is where it is called multi tube and uh, that's only difference the other ways of handling the curve is same okay so let's explore uh, the curve cube snap brush so what i'm going to do is i'll pick the curve cube snap okay and uh, switch off the symmetry and just click and drag if you remember uh, the first brush okay the curve cube brush when i was like creating the stroke it's not at all snapping to the surface right however when i choose the curve cube snap you should able to see that's precisely placed on the uh, model that's a major difference here between these three brushes 